to configure the hybrid entra id and to synchronize the identities from on premises to entra id we need the entra connect tool which was formerly known as azure ad connect that i'm going to install on this member server of this domain the member server is cdl server 1 as you see and the very first thing i'm going to do is i'm installing the tls 1.2 on this server which is the entra id connect server uh, the requirement for tls 1.2 is actually for enhanced security because the known vulnerabilities in uh, tls 1.0 or 1.1 have been addressed in this version so it offers stronger security standards and uh, it is compliant with pci dss hipaa gdpr compliances or regulatory bodies as well and it offers performance improvements for the entra id connect server offers end to end security future prof proofing is also there because most of the industries are moving toward tls 1.3 so that will replace this tls 1.2 in the future and the support from microsoft and the azure side is also there for this it protects against the downgrade attacks as well so there are many uh, key features or benefits of using the tls 1.2 to have a secure communication over the internet between the entra id connect tool and the entra id so these are some of the reasons for which we need entra id connect to the server to be configured or to use the tls 1.2 what else you think is uh, the benefit of using the tls 1.2 do let me know in the comment section well to do this i am doing the configuration of some registry configuration settings with the help of a set of powershell commands to enable the tls 1.2 on this system well this is uh, what you see that the uh, that something written on the host machine that uh, the 1.2 has been installed and you have to restart this machine system will be restarted and uh, i will pause and resume the video well the system is restarted and now i will download the entra id connect tool from the microsoft download center i will put the link in the description of this video in case you want to download it though you will find it at several locations uh, be it the entra connect portal for the hybrid setup you can find it there also or uh, you can just search it for uh, entra connect tool well i will download it for english language version and uh, once this is downloaded i will install the msi i'll run this package this is dot msi package as you see i will open the setup and will follow the installation of this this tool you can install in two different ways one with the express settings and uh, second with the customized settings with express settings it will go with uh, some basic setup like the password hash synchronization will be used all uh, domain and ent entire domain will, will be synchronized so you don't get a scope for filter there are things that you can customize by going to custom setup like the location for this the sql instance dedicated sql instance you want to use instead of sql express i'm going with sql express over here because uh, my setup is a small testing training environment if you have 100000 or more than 100000 users then you should consider using the uh, sql dedicated instance for this tool and uh, also you need advanced reporting auditing capabilities then you should use a dedicated database instance for this entra id connect well the synchronization will be uh, configured with the sign in method i will use the sign in method with, with password hash synchronization 
we have uh, other options also like pass through authentication or federation we want to do uh, password has synchronization is the easiest method to configure and uh, is good for the organizations which do not want to have the overhead of maintaining the on-prem infrastructure especially for the uh, authentication capabilities offloaded by the entra id to on-premises in case you want uh, to keep the password hashes within your on-premises you do not want to sync them to the entra id then you can think of using pass-through authentication or if you want some uh, advanced functionalities of authentication like smart card authentications or your own password and account policies so you can have all the authentication uh, managed on premises with the help of federation uh, i will share one decision making tree to decide that which sign in method you should use what authentication methods are there i have discussed them in much more details in my entra id series and az104 series as well you can visit that for more details i'm going with password as synchronization as a sign in method authentication method and i'm logging in here as the global admin of my tenant where i want to synchronize my identities and uh, i will authenticate with my global admin account and the password When you connect your on-premises Active Directory domain service and the Entra ID, you need to use the most privileged accounts for both of them. Like for Entra ID, it is the global admin that I'm providing here. And for on-prem directory to connect, I need to use my enterprise admin credentials. That I will add my domain here. And I can create a new account as a service account for this. I could have created in advanced and I can use that service account here for the entire ID connect to synchronize the identities from on-premises. I will create it through this wizard itself because creating the service principle in Active Directory will be a uh, time consuming and complex process as compared to creating the service principle through this wizard. Well, Contoso.com is not verified on the entire ID. That is why I give, my, I give my consent that without verifying for all matching UPNs, I want to sync the identities. So all the accounts that have UPN in on-premises as contoso.com at contoso.com will be synchronized to my tenant which is ending with the suffix dot on microsoft.com and I'm good with that because I'm in the testing training environment. I have done the scoping to select the particular OUs which I want to synchronize then I do not want any additional filter criteria to synchronize these identities. In optional features, I just ensure that password as synchronization is there. I don't need password right back, group right back. We will cover that in the upcoming topics. Well, this installation will be done, start synchronization. So it will initiate the synchronization and I will pause the video here because it takes a while. Second option was for staging to configure. And if you do staging, then the identities will not be synchronized. It the entra connect has been configured and as you see the configuration is completed the configuration is complete and you can now log into the entra portal to see that whether the identities have been synchronized or not i launch the entra portal to validate the synchronization and for this i log in with my global admin account once again and uh, the password sign in Once I'm uh, logged in, I will see the user's blade to validate that whether the users from on-premises have been synchronized or not. We have seen the on-premises synchronization column in this table already in the previous video. So you see this time it is set to yes for many of the identities i can use this criterion filter as well to see all the synchronized users for this i go with the on premises synchronized attribute enabled and true
there you see all these users have been synchronized from on premises if i want to check for the groups i'll go to the groups and we'll see that the groups from the on premises servers as a source if i scroll it to the right to see i can see here the source is windows server ad for many of the groups these groups have been synchronized from on premises later when we will be enrolling the devices and we'll be seeing the hybrid join devices for uh, in tune we will see that how we can use the device synchronization and the 